professional speaker. Uh, may pili lang ito, pero pagbibigyan tayo, um, Mr. Luna. Hi, sir! Hello! Sa lahat, binati na kayo ng good morning, good afternoon, sa good evening, <laughs> so hindi ko na ulitin. Although, I think inulit ko. Ayan! Okay, <laughs> My name is Lloyd Luna. I am the uh, past president of the uh, Philippine Association of Professional Speakers. Uh, PAPS, we call it is part of the Global Speakers Federation, where the members include the US, Canada, Australia, and many others. So, ako rin yung founder ng association, and nandito kami, because we are, we are talking about something that will help you if you feel like may karapatan ka, or kaya mo, may kakayahan ka, na maging isang professional speaker. Uh, busy si, uh, si Sir Lloyd, so hindi ko na masyadong patatagalin ito. I'm here, uh, I'm having an interview with uh, Sir Lloyd and we're ending it. Uh, meron lang kasi ako mga takeaway na nakuha and I want Sir Lloyd to uh, discuss Rita. briefly or recap itong standardizing on how to be a professional speaker. So, yun lang naman. Sige, go ahead. Sir. Sige, so pag sinabing ako yung mag-recap, ibig sabihin ay uh, hindi niya masyadong natandaan. <laughs> Kaya ako yung inuutusan ngayon. Sige. At parang nasa consumption ng iyong mga mga yes, viewers. Mga subscribers. I think 6 million. Is it 6 million? Ah, nasa, nasa almost 600 pala guys. <laughs> okay. Papunta tayo sa 6 million. Yes. But uh, para sa mga viewers uh, viewers ng vlog na ito, uh, dinidifferentiate namin ang professional speaker sa basta lang speaker or trainer. Paano? Sa aming association, we, uh, we are setting some sort of a standard and uh, we are defining core competencies that you need to intentionally develop should you want to be a speaking professional. Number one is eloquence or the art of persuasive presentation. Bilang isang professional speaker, dapat alam mo kung paano ihandal ang sarili mo sa stage at dapat inaaral mo kung ano yung mga nitigwiti kung paano ka maging persuasive speaker. So nandyan yung napakaliit na detalye tulad na anong kulay ang gagamitin mong background ng slide mo, powerpoint slide, so pagka ang gamit mo ay LED screen bilang background. So, malalaman niya yan pag tinanong niya siya. So, comment below. <laughs> yes! Okay. And number two is expertise. Ayaw na namin mag-agawan uh, sa isang particular uh, subject. In other words, bilang mga professional speakers, nag-specialize na kami. Hindi na kami yung uh, lahat na lang ng subject ay tinanggap namin para magsalita. Anyway, marunong naman kami magsalita. So, we made it uh, a point na bawat isang speaker may isa, dalawa, hanggang tatlo, uh, related uh, expertise uh, at yun yung kanyang pag-aaral at lalaliman para mas maging uh, mataas ang tingin ng, uh, ng market sa ating mga speakers. Specialization expertise. Number three is ethics. Subscription dun sa ethical standards ng community. So ayaw na namin yung nagbabagsakan kami ng presyo. Identify namin ang value namin, sinasabi namin sa kliente yung value namin at ipinapaliwanag namin kung bakit kailangan kami bayaran ng ganito at ng ganyan. So, hindi ito hula-hula. Ito ay may dahilan. Okay. So, kapag ka ikaw ay nagbagsak ng presyo, unethical ka. Kapag ka ikaw ay nalilate sa mga engagements mo, unethical ka. Dahil kapag ka member ka ng professional association, mandadamay kasi kami. Ito. Correct. Correct, sir. Tama kayo dyan. Di ba? Lagi kang uh, maagas. Domino no, 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 effect. So, tapos bigla ako nalate. O, anong sasabihin? Yan, paps! So, kasama ka na. Buong community. Number four is yung enterprise. Uh, bilang isang professional speaker, dapat ang skill mo ay nagiging, uh, nagiging business mo. Pag hindi mo nagawang sustainable business mo, ang speaking, in other words, mayroon ka problem sa... Uh, hindi ka professional. Yung ano ka lang, speaker, pwede yung freelancer ka lang. Kasi hindi mo aral eh. Trainer ka lang. Trainer ka lang. So dapat mag-establish mo sa bilang isang business. At bilang isang business, dapat mayroon kang branding, dapat mayroon kang business process, dapat mayroon kang uh, marketing, dapat alam mo yung accounting mo, etc. Dapat mayroon kang profit and loss, yung mga forecast. At dapat magaling kang mag-negotiate. Okay. And the uh, last is extension. 
Kami na yung niwala na hindi natatapos sa pagkita ng pera pag hindi professional speaker. Kailangan mong magbalik sa community mo. So, bawat isang member sa aming community ay may tinatawag na extension program or social, corporate social responsibility. Bawat isa ay may isang advocacy na susuportahan at isang bagay o isang sector ng community na dapat tulungan. In that case, magbubuo mo na yung site. Number one, elopen ka, magaling ka magsalita. Number two, expert ka. Doon sa particular subject mo, hindi ka na nangaagaw ng subject na iba. Number three is ethical ka, nagsasubscribe ka sa kaalaman ng buong community. And number four, enterprising ka, hindi sabihin ko, hindi ka. And finally, kumita ka, pero nagbalik ka sa mga hindi. So yun naman na yung ina yan, that makes a speaker a professional speaker. Ayan! So maraming salamat Sir Lloyd for sharing that and for you to better understand and know Join Paps. And alam ko po, very busy kayo. I will also discuss further. Mamaya na lang yun. Pero maraming salamat po ulit. Thank salamat. you Sir Lloyd and have a good day. You too. Comment below. Yes, comment, comment. Ayan! As you saw, we were given a chance by our pambansang inspirasyon na si Lloyd Luna. Very much privileged that we're scheduled to be interviewed. Looking at being part of PAPS, as you saw, ayan, dyan sa aking vlog na yan, I was uh, privileged to be part of their event, their third convention, if I'm not mistaken. And really, medyo napabilib talaga ako. And after talking to him, there were a lot of things that I have realized. Apart from realizing that Parang yung tagline ko na it is not too late and you are not too old to do anything that you want. Okay. Kasi I have plans. Actually, ang dami-dami ko talagang gustong gawin in my life. What I am thankful for is that at this age, thankful that somehow my kids are hindi na yung need to be cared for so much or yung mga alagain pa. Dahil doon, parang it gave me a perspective of who I want to be. And with this vlog of mine, here at Not So Tiny Kingdom, soon, meron tayong bubuksan para sa mga kaibigan natin, mga katintiners dyan, at sa other viewers who would like to be inspired at the same time achieve personal excellence. I would like to share and at the same time, I would like you to be part of that journey because I myself would like to achieve personal excellence starting at age 41. There. So, I'm ending this vlog and I hope you enjoyed our vlog for today. And once again, maraming salamat. We are now at 600 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And for whatever, uh, if meron kayo mga questions, gustong malaman, or vlog that you want me to do, just simply comment down below. There you go. Thank you once again. Have a great day.